Okay, hello dear friends, good morning. And it's a foggy and uh, it's a beautiful morning with a lot of fox. Fox, <laughs> foggers. Anyway, um, I want to do an, uh, a makeup and uh, so I can take this chance to blah, blah, blah with you. And uh, yesterday I sprayed some silver color on my hair. Find that silver color. Yes, it is here. This silver color on my hair, and I have this platinum. Anyway, I have this beautiful silver color. Now I went to swimming pool and I washed it, and um, life come back to the ordinary, tedious, dull, and. Uh, usual life, which is uh, what we live for every day, and uh, it's interesting. So um, I have uh, mentioned a lot of times that uh, that uh, uh, I listen to podcast, I listen to TED Talk, listen to all kinds of uh, uh, interesting things, and um, I think I'm making my my listening time more productive by doing on demand, on demand information. So looking for on demand information source. So what do I mean by on demand information source? Is that uh, I do not listen to radio now. Or very seldom listen to radio. If by myself I set my car into a car play mode, so <clears throat> I search whatever I need because everything, even the radio, is on the internet, and you can listen to the internet, listen to anything you need from your cell phone let's say talking about aging so i search uh, pet aging woman and then a lot of these talks come up if i want to listen for philosophy uh, yeah of course philosophy anything yes you know the keyword and you know where to search and eventually you will find a good one there are a lot of time that uh, there are not so good ones, you skip it. It's uh, about searching. Well, when you drive, you do not search. You search, you do the homework at home, right? That is supposed to be the homework. Anyway, so <clears throat> it's very interesting. I listened to one lady talking about uh, woman aging and, uh, and one woman talking, I think she's Australian, talking about aging. The good thing about aging is that, uh, yeah, she's uh, uh, talking a little bit uh, more brave than what I do. Another lady talking about aging is uh, something like after you get old, after menopause, or I usually do after you get old, you gain wisdom. I think not only women, men also the same. And uh, I am just thinking about the difficulties we live, we face in our life. Not only women, but also men. We experience different stage. different stage of our life, different physical stage of our life, that, that this different physical stage is accompanied by different mental, spiritual stage of our life. And uh, when we were young, I have young teenager kids, so I understand. And myself, I myself experienced a teenager surprise, right? I grown up from baby to teenage to right now, this old woman. <laughs> we all experienced it. 
And uh, I think at different stage we have different energy set, we have different hormone, different uh, internal hormone to make us into whatever age we are. And uh, the younger age we have those very energetic hormone and productive hormone. And uh, at the senior age, our hormone for for reproduction, for for energy, start to lose. And to compensate, we gain wisdom, we gain coolness, we gain the the ability to slow down, to control. And it is really every stage there is beauty in every stage of life. We say um, it is good to be young, but also it is good to be wise. And this wisdom comes from or comes with at the price of uh, of age. That is the experience. Our experience comes at a price. And this price is uh, is age, is the use that uh, we, we no longer possess. And it, it is not so much as spiritually, it's more physically. We cannot run as fast as when we were young. And our physical condition, our way of talking, we speak slower, we walk slower, and we do things slower, and we re react to things slower. Why we react to things slower? Because with life experience, we have more things in our brain. We have a bigger, bigger storage, a bigger storage in our brain. And these stories, we have a bigger memory in our, in our brain. And this memory, it takes time to, 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 to search, to Google, to search every corner of our memory. So that slows down our reaction time. I better be careful with my eyes. Try to make it a little bit better, more natural. If I do not wear glasses, I cannot see it very natural, very well. And um, because we get old, we have more experience in our life. And uh, we can understand more things. We can connect our different parts, different life phase of experience. And uh, it's important that we do not lose those memory. Those memory are stored, are installed, stored in our brain. But if we do not activate them, it, is, it will not find place to use. And uh, that is a waste of our age. We became old and do not become wise. That is quite a waste of, of, uh, of our age. And that is not good. This one, we put some here. A bit lost my salt, thread of salt. Face powder a little bit light so it goes well. And uh, I was chatting with my friends, different friends, and um, some friends are dealing with difficulties in life. Some um, 
about marriage, about relationship, I was thinking one thing, that uh, I have seen some, uh, on YouTube also, people talk about divorce, about uh, uh, relationship breakup. And if you think in a positive way, everything, it depends on how you view it. If you view it in a positive way and bravely face and embrace everything happens in your life, embrace the difficulties in your life, then it is much easier for you to solve the problem, to see, to see the light of all these difficulties. Let's say you had uh, a beautiful, comfortable uh, life, a loving husband or a loving wife, and um, everything perfect, beautiful family. Of course, this is the best. Nobody can, 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 can be happier than this. But suddenly, that same loving husband came to you and said, Okay, I feel that is the end of our relation. And uh, we call it an end. So, there is a chance that you meet with these kind of difficulties and meet with these challenges. And I have uh, heard from TED Talk, a lot of uh, people talk about uh, there are difficulties in life, no matter it's from career, from job, from relation, from family, and uh, from marriage, from friendship. They went through a huge roadblock, and that roadblock became their wake-up call. And they start to do something, they take use of it, not let the roadblock become, become the destina destination of uh, their life. They use the roadblock, that huge block, use it as a stepping stone and climb higher and move the higher. to another stage of life. Some uh, women, women experience an uh, abusive relationship. And then I heard some build up a foundation that uh, fight with this abusive relationship to protect women. And some uh, uh, from uh, relation that uh, early marriage, not loving husband, and made another foundation that help every unhappy woman to, to gain the independence of their life, and a lot of these things. So I was just fascinated by this. So if you have a good life, keep with your good life. Nothing can be better than a good life. And this is what we all want. If we can keep and live with that good life, by all means, go ahead with it. Live a happy family. Do not divorce. Do not break up relation. Do not fire your boss. But sometimes things happen. It's beyond our control. What do we do? Use it as an opportunity. Before this breakup, before this challenge, you live a good life. But when the problem comes, it is the chance that heaven give you that want you to live an amazing life. You can choose to live a good life Keep on with that life. But a lot of time, 
you cannot choose because relationship, marriage, is a two persons business. It's not only you. It also depends. It also depends. On your counterpart, not only yourself. If myself can decide, if yourself can decide, of course you decide the best. But this is depending on two persons, at least, if it is a relationship. See? If life throw your throw your lemon, make lemonade. If life throw your trouble, throw trouble to you. Take this opportunity and make a good life into an amazing life. Not everybody has the chance. Some people does not have that strong character because they are so nice, and. Um, and uh, people do not want to hurt them. So they make sure to protect you because uh, heaven knows. Oh, gosh, this is a silver from yesterday's. Ooh, you can take advantage of it. A lot of people live a good life and that is it. And I'm so envy. And we are all so envy, but uh, who knows when time, when life wants to give us. Maybe heaven has already have a choice that you live a good life because you are weak or because you are good, because you have done enough good things. You do not need to experience another life. And maybe sometimes heaven truth, gosh, you live a good life, okay, you are good, but I know you have even better independence, and if you, you, you have even better potential, and your life will not stop just by being good. And they intend you to make you an amazing life. You can take this opportunity from heaven and live your life to a new level. When problems comes, when problems come, there are two outcomes. Because you cannot have a choice, because it depends on the two sides, and you make your best effort, but the other side decide not to cooperate with you, then you need to find out what to go out of this trap or to go out of this existing life status, existing phase. You need to move on to the second phase. The second phase has two choices. One is that you blame on the other side. You blame life is not fair. Everything is not fair. Why do I deserve to live a miserable life. I have seen a lot, a lot of more not good looking people and not smarter people and they are not as good as me, but they are living a better life. It's not fair. No, it's no use to complain it. Everyone has a life. It's already written a hundred years ago. It's a fate, it's a karma. And what you can do is to accept it. And uh, if you do not make your effort, you will end up a miserable life. But if you fight, you will end up an amazing life. You have two choices. And nothing is easy. It might be easier to end up a miserable life if you do not fight. But it might be more difficult for you to end up miserable life if you have the strong will to fight with whatever is coming your way. Okay, another thing with age, when women get old, and also when men get old, we experience a lot of uh, 
a lot of change in our own body from very energetic to less energetic from so we can connect with young kids why they do not understand do not understand things and why they have so many questions how we teach them how we educate them how we raise them up i think there is one thing good about being a teacher is that i am constantly working with young children and uh, and see the very naive, very natural, very pure, innocent stage of our human brain, of our human being, of our human nature. And it recalls me of those beautiful, uh, our human nature, and also the bad of human nature. Even in young children, we see it. Let's just be frank with it. And um, we also can connect with young uh, teenager, young adult, because we have experienced it. And if you always keep your curious curiosity, your mind of wondering, you have a better capacity, better ability to connect with people of different age. And also, as we age, we understand things, we become less rushed. I remember when I was younger, I was uh, full of energy, very ambitious. I want to be the best, I want to, I want to do a business, make this a huge contract, a million dollar contract, and I cannot surrender to anybody else, anything else. My boss loved me because I have this working drive. But now I am now I am different. I take life it's easy. Everything is. Uh, it is not the end of the day. It is not the end of the world. If I I used to be. If I do not sign this contract, this contract will be will be lost and uh, and uh, just the end of the world. Now I'm thinking. If one thing cannot stay, one more day, it may not be a good thing. And my even business experience told me this. When we rush to sign a contract, it is very likely that a lawsuit and a legal case will come up. Make sure you take your time. Take time to discuss, to, to, to think about all different sides of life, different sides of this contract, of this business, and you can solve this problem in a more mature and more um, more reasonable more reasonable and more comprehensive way we age also we are not so much in a rush and I am already 60 years old around and I have already over went through my physical change from very productive, from productive into not productive physically, physically and biologically. And uh, I think from that age into now, we become much relaxed and we become more tolerant, more accepting, more tolerant, accepting, generous. Not everyone, not everyone. Some to the extreme of bad, some to the extreme of to the of of good. We are trying to go to the, the good direction. And uh, life takes time. Solving problem takes time. Same as relationship, it takes time. If your partner, if something gets into a block, 
give yourself time and give this person time. Maybe he or she is also through a mental change or physical change stage. And when we are in physical change stage, there is an imbalance of hormone. This is why young teenagers, they, 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 they have so much problem, they have so much uh, uncontrollable behavior. The hormone messed up their biological system. The hormone messed up their controlling ability. Sometimes too much energy, sometimes too low energy. And who knows when they meet each other, those physical physical curve and the mental curve. And so it's messed up. They may not intentionally making trouble, but they just cannot control themselves. Same as us, same as the person we love same as the person we care about, same as our friend, our spouse, our partner. Give ourselves time and give this person time and let him or let her solve this problem. Use love, use compassion because he or she is experiencing a hard time and he or she needs help, needs support. And this support is not doing massage to, to the person and, uh, and talking to them. Maybe just every time everyone is different, maybe give room to that person and let him, let her to, to be quiet and not bothered. Just be patient and understand that the other person is having a hard time. It needs your understanding more than anything else. And this understanding includes taking care and ignore and not to bother. And with time, there are two solutions that this person solve the problem. And you go back to your good life, wonderful life, amazing, amazing life again. Or after a long time, one year, two year, whatever time, the problem could not be solved. It's unsolvable. Then go on with your life go on with his or her life. She or he will head, head to his, her amazing life and you are heading to your amazing life. Always keep kindness in your heart, always be good, be kind, because that's our moral value, that's our value. And we cannot, even we betray, even we are betrayed by other people, we cannot betray ourselves. We will not initiate the betrayal to our own heart. If we are good person, we are good person. Difficulty, problem, they do not have the right, they do not have the ability to change us into an evil person. We say no to that. Do you believe in goodness? I love you, I really do.
Do, 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 do I look good? <laughs>